Welcome. This is a tutorial. A tutorial for Ogmo Editor. Okay, so uh, I am going to show you guys how to uh, use Ogmo Editor, um, which is a fantastic uh, editor for uh, making stuff for, for making games. Um, I haven't done a tutorial before, um, so uh, please bear with me as I am sure to F it up. Okay, first up, why would you use Ogmo Editor? Okay, you don't want to use it for, uh, don't use it for everything, right? There are some types of games you, you don't want to use it for, so it's it's not an ultimate tool that's going to is gonna you know give you a back rub when you when you're feeling down but it it, it works very very well for any um, type of 2d grid based game so tiles 2d use it man um, other limitations uh, use it for Windows uh, Mac version. Uh, the earlier uh, version of Ogmo Editor, which I am not covering here, uh, did work with uh, Mac, but the current version doesn't work with Mac. But um, really, 2.0 is da bomb. It's it's really really good. It's 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 I think it's a lot better than 1.0. And uh, you don't have to edit XML, and uh, it's it's quite a bit different. It's quite a bit more features and stuff. So, anyways, I think there's a Mac version coming. Uh, Mac version coming in future. Okay, download it. It from OgmoEditor.com. Okay, I'll leave that up there. I'll show you guys what the website looks like. Website looks like that. Ogmoeditor.com. Introducing Ogmo. So you just go here, you download it, you're good. Okay, so Ogmo is made by um, Matt Thorson, who is a handsome guy that lives in Vancouver, and if you keep watching um, this video, I will give you all of his uh, personal information so that you can um, you can go visit him and uh, just see, see what he's like, because he's a really nice guy. And I want to make sure to get his uh, home address and phone number out there on the internet for everyone. So, okay, first things first. Um, when you start Ogmo Editor, it looks kind of like this. There's there's the news for you, which is great. Um, if you have any recent projects, which I don't normally use it on this computer, I normally use it on my netbook. Um, it'll show you your recent projects, so you just click there to open it. It updates on its own. It's 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 pretty much awesome that way and um, keep you up to date. Sometimes the updates uh, break stuff but not very often. Usually they fix a lot a lot of stuff. So just go go with the updates. Roll with the uh, roll with the um, the tsunami this not the tsunami but the, the waves. Roll with the waves a little bit. Roll with the punches. Go with the flow. Do the updates. That's my recommendation. Um, if something breaks in an update it will probably be fixed real quick. So Okay, what we want to talk about then is what kind of things Ogmo uh, edit. So what kind of files does Ogmo edit? It is after all Ogmo editor. Um, we know that uh, we want to make uh, well, we, well, we want to make levels. It edits level files. Level files are called .oels, so we'll make that really big, OEL files. Um, each level that you want to have for your game, which could be like an actual level or it could be just like a room or, or an area or whatever, is called, a, is called in Ogma Editor, it's called a level and it's it'll have its own file um, .oel. But there's a catch, whoops, there is a catch. Ha! What is it? The catch is that uh, you need to say you need to you need Ogmo 
polynomial to answer the question, what kind of crap goes in my level, right? So in other words, what kind of stuff, like what kind of enemies do you have? What tiles do you want to use to draw your levels? What kind of um, doors are there going to be? How big are the, is, is the level? How big can it be? Should it always be one size? All that kind of stuff. So in order to get there, in order to uh, let Ogmo know what kind of things you want to edit, you need to make a project file. And those are OEP. Okay? So, apologize for my big exhalation just there. Um, so an OEP is your project file. So first up, first up, let's make an OEP. Okay, so I'm gonna just stop the recording here for a sec because I'm gonna need to join this stuff together. Three, two, one, beep.